Bonnie. Happy Friday. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so warm today. I took the dog out for a walk. The dog got all muddy. The dog got a bath. <laughs> it's funny. Every year, I'm a little bit different after Christmas. Um, some years, I kind of like the snowmen and the winter scents. This year, for whatever reason, I don't know why. I am just like all about spring and um, spring scents. It was funny. I went to Dollar Tree today and they had all the Valentine's Day um, starting to come out of the boxes. It wasn't totally out yet, so I didn't buy anything. But I was like, oh, it's so pretty. Um, but it just depends on the year. This year, I'm just really excited um, about spring, which is funny because I was all in for Christmas until about... Um, two weeks ago. And then all of a sudden I'm like, spring. Uh, so because I'm in a springy mood, um, I'm going to review brown sugar and fig. And then later tonight, I'm going to talk about Bath and Body Works um, spring candles because we get a little bit of a Scooby-Doo mystery on our hands here. I'm perplexed as to why these candles um, have not gone on sale yet. I'll explain that in my next video. So Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. Um, we're on day five. I was actually reading through a lot of my comments, and um, it seems like people are really like excited about semi-annual sale, or it was like the worst one ever. And I kind of get that. Um, I'll do a video probably on Monday, like week one. Um, but I feel like if you really liked this retired 90s collection, then you were excited about semi-annual sale. Um, but they didn't have like a lot of like new and interesting. Like we didn't get anything um, from like True Blue Spa. I was hoping maybe they'd do like a wellness collection comeback. I don't know. There was not a lot of surprise to the semi-annual sale and um, not a lot of 75% off candles at all in my, like my store just had like three. <laughs> so um, some people had more and if you had more then it was better. I think it was like, based on location, whether or not you had a good experience. But I think a lot of people like me are kind of like, okay, let's just move into spring. I'm excited for tropical even. So um, I'll talk more about it next week. But right now, I think it's about a 50-50 split on whether or not um, semi-annual sale was a hit this year. I do know that brown sugar and fig was a huge hit this year for a lot of people. I've heard a lot of people talk about how excited they are that this fragrance is back. Um, I had one in my collection and it went bad. It was a cream and it didn't smell very good, I think, because it went bad. So I haven't smelled brown sugar and fig in a long time previous to this. Uh, it is fresh fig, coconut milk, and caramelized um, brown sugar. And um, it's nice. I do like it. I liked it more than I remember liking it, which I was surprised. A couple of people thought maybe they changed the formula up a little bit. I feel like this is a... Um, a deep, fruity, sweet, sophisticated scent. And um, it goes with just about anything. I mean, you could wear this during the day. You could wear this as an evening scent. And it's got a little bit of a relaxing quality to it, which I like. So I get why people like brown sugar and fig. I know this is like a huge favorite for a lot of people. I did try the shower gel last night. I get the deeper fig note in the shower gel. And um, it smells good. Um, I used this last night, used a little bit of it. And I was like, yeah, I'm all about this. I think I actually want another one, <laughs> which I wasn't expecting. I wasn't sure. Um, I actually think I like it better than Pearberry. Again, I wasn't expecting that because um, I wasn't sure I loved it last time it was out. So uh, yay for brown sugar and fig. I think if you haven't tried this one and you like like deep, fruity, sweet scents, and you like fig. I don't like fig newtons, by the way. I don't like those at all. I don't know why. My husband loves them, but I'm like not a fig newton girl. So. <laughs> but I like this one. This one is a good scent. Um, I still need to review sun ripened raspberry. I need to review uh, sea lion. Sea, sea, doing it again, you guys. Sea lion. Why am I calling this sea lion? <laughs> sea island shore. That's because my brain works too fast. And I'm cracking myself up. And um, cucumber melon. I'm gonna pull out my cucumber melon collection. I speaking of cracking myself up. Oh my gosh, you guys! You know how much I dislike cucumber melon. I was arranging all of my scents, and I'm like, I got quite the cucumber melon collection in here. <laughs> like, 
what is going on? So I will review that, but I have a couple different uh, cucumber melon um, versions and I have multiples. I keep buying it. <laughs> so I will get to um, these reviews this week. And then, um, you know, we'll do a we'll do a week one, what happened to my annual sale? Is it good or it's bad? I might do a poll on my community tab. Um, and we'll see uh, what the prices do over the weekend. I'm kind of curious, New Year's Eve, uh, if Bath & Body Works does anything um, interesting. I think it's going to be pretty calm until um, the beginning of the year. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think of the brown sugar and fig. I got to say the purple bottle. This is, this is everything. I love the purple. Anyway, I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.